Hello and welcome to another Raspberry Pi tutorial by me, the Raspberry Pi Guy. In this tutorial we'll be having a look at the brand new official Raspberry Pi camera module and I'll show you how to set yours up from scratch to be able to film full HD video and capture stills. But first, what do I actually have here? Well, simply put, it is a full HD video and stills camera that plugs into your Pi via the camera serial interface, or CSI for short. The sensor on the camera is a 5 megapixel fixed focused one, similar to those found in decent smartphones. The module is tiny, the dimensions of it are only 25 by 20 by 9 millimeters, and the whole thing weighs only 9 grams. So the camera is perfect for projects where you would require a small, steady camera. While small in size, the camera does not lack in quality. It is not only capable of delivering 2,592 by 1,944 stills, but also 1080p HD video at 30 frames per second and 720p HD video at 60 frames per second, which is very impressive for such a low cost item. They retail in the UK from Element 14 or RS components at around £19. Now to get started, here is how to connect your camera module to the Raspberry Pi. When you get your camera, it will come in a box similar to this. Simply unpack it and you should see your camera in an anti-static bag. The board is sensitive to static electricity, so make sure to earth yourself before taking the camera out. Do this by touching something metallic like a radiator. Once you've done that, take your camera out of the bag. Note that we'll be connecting the camera with the attached ribbon cable. Whilst the cable can be bent, don't go so far as to make kinks in it. So quickly, take off the small pr plastic protector on your camera's lens. I've already done this, and now we're ready to plug it into the Pi. To do this, I recommend taking your Pi out of any casing that you might have. It just makes it easier. The port we will be connecting the ribbon cable of your camera to is located next to the Ethernet port of the Raspberry Pi. Using two fingers, simply apply pressure to either side of the plastic and lift upwards, like this. The plastic top should then look like this. Now, grab your camera module and place the ribbon cable at the top of the now open CSI connector on your Pi. Make sure that the shiny connectors are facing away from the Ethernet port, like this. Here comes the tricky part. Now, lower the cable until it is firmly and evenly in the CSI port. Still holding the camera module, close the plastic hinge lid of the CSI port. You should see this. Your Pi's camera module is secure in the CSI port of the Raspberry Pi, with just a bit of the tin connector showing. Now I'll show you how to install all the necessary software on your Raspberry Pi. So boot up your Raspberry Pi using Raspbian and log in. Now start the desktop environment with the command start x. You should be seeing this. Now what we want is the terminal, so double click on this icon here, or find it in the start menu, and you should see this appear. First off, what we need to do is update and upgrade Raspbian in order to get all the features that we need. So make sure that your Pi is connected to the internet, and then type in the command sudo space apt get make sure there's a hyphen between apt and get update and then space two and symbols space sudo apt get upgrade and press enter and if it prompts you if you want to continue just press y and enter the time this takes depends on how out of date your raspberry image is and how good your internet is for me it took around half an hour now after that is finished, we are going to type the command sudo raspi-config and press enter. This opens up this blue interface and this is the default options changer where you can fill around with things like overclocking. Now what we're going to do is use our arrow keys to navigate to the camera option which is right down here and press enter and it will come up with enable support for Raspberry Pi camera so what we're going to do is click enable and then that's all we need to do in Raspberry Pi config so press the right arrow twice and you go to finish press finish and it will come up with a message that says would you like to reboot now because if you don't reboot then the features that you've just changed will not change until the next reboot so press enter like this and so your Pi will reboot. We have rebooted, we are ready to actually capture some video and pictures. So shuffle your camera to the place you want to film and then double click the terminal again. There are two commands that you use when using your camera. Number one is the Raspi still function and number two is the Raspi vid function. I'm going to show you the Raspi still function first, which funnily enough lets you take still photos. So let's type in Raspi still into the terminal and press enter. So you spell Raspi still 
R A S P I S T I L L and press enter. And you'll see a long line of uh, options for the Raspberry Still camera app. So you can change lots of stuff like the size of your image, the width, the height, quality, backlight, you can put lots of different effects. And uh, let's not worry about that now, I'm just going to show you how to take a basic JPEG. And you do that with this line of code here, Raspberry Still space minus o space name of the image so let's just call our let's just call r1 image dot jpg for jpeg and when you press enter it, a preview box will appear and that lasts about 5 seconds and then your photo will actually be taken so let's press enter i'm just going to hold up an arduino for it to take a picture of like this so you can line up the arduino and then will take a picture and the preview box will disappear. I'm going to show you that picture and the video that I'm about to take later in the, on in the video. So that is how to take a photo using your Raspberry Pi camera. But how about taking full HD video? As I said before, we use the Raspberry Vid function. So let's type Raspberry Vid into the terminal. You spell Raspberry Vid, R-A-S-P-I-V-I-D, and press enter. And we'll see all the cool options we can do with Raspberry Vid. Just like with Raspberry Still, we see that we can change all sorts of things like the video width and height, etc. You can change uh, exposure options, image effect. Let's not worry about that just yet. I'm going to leave you with that to fiddle around in your spare time. I'm just going to show you the basic command to just shoot 10 seconds of high quality HD video. To do this, we use the command Raspberry Vid space minus O space the name of the file. So we'll just call ours test video dot h264 which is the format space minus t space and then how long we want to film it for so we want to film for 10 seconds so we put in 10 however the pi does this in milliseconds so we're going to have to add another three zeros to the end of that in order for it to film for 10 seconds and when i press enter it will start filming immediately i'm just going to film me using an rc car so you guys can see what the camera is like with moving objects let's go ahead and press enter then as I said before, I will show you the footage later. So, I'm pressing enter now. You'll see that the preview window comes up. This means that it's filming, and there is my RC car. That's all for today's tutorial with the official Raspberry Pi camera module. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and if you have any problems or need help, do not hesitate to ask me either by commenting below or emailing me at the Raspberry Pi guy at gmail.com. Please subscribe, like, and share my videos. That's all from me. Thanks for watching. Bye.